Welcome to Noah's Ark, where in every episode, I have the great opportunity to speak to some of my closest friends and favorite people in Manhattan and figure out what are their stories? Why are they living here? How do they stay creative? And what makes them stay in Manhattan and love it so much? I'm learning a lot for sure, and I hope you get to learn a little bit from watching with me. Thanks so much. Okay guys, welcome back for another brand new episode of Noah's Ark, Happy New Year by the way. And something I was thinking about lately is how do you keep that adolescent rebellious phase alive but as a mature adult, having some excitement in your life without getting arrested. And someone I was thinking about talking to is my good friend Peter Davis who is joining us. And I have to say it's been a few months of trying to get you um, in, in a chair Sounds next like to me. Rebel. You are such a rebel, you really are. And you've been in jail I would say four times for... Five, five. Five. Wait, six, six. Six for solicitation. I don't know what that means. You have quite a reputation in New York. You've been um, around for a while. You've been through so many different scenes and phases. But what a lot of people don't know about you is you had this totally like badass phase while you were growing up in Manhattan, coming from a quite well-to-do environment, and you were a can we say rebel, a badass? Yeah, it was like the punk of Park Avenue. You were the punk of Park Avenue. So explain this to our viewers at home. What was going on with you? Yeah, I grew up in a very preppy Upper East Side household and I had blue hair and mohawks. You know, I was like rebellious on the outside and my spirit was rebellious, but I wasn't shooting up drugs or, you know. Right. Snorting cocaine in the subway. Right. Like, you know, my rebellion was more creative. How do you keep that rebellious creativeness alive in you while still getting up every day for work, mm -hmm. while having things to do, while having obligations, while having to pay the rent? How do you do that? I'm a magazine editor. I've been the editor of a few magazines. I started a, my own magazine, which you were beautifully in. And I think that, you know, that's a rebellious thing in itself. Like I may be in a suit, but I'm in like a boot, like a combat. Oh boot, yes, and that which is rebellious. In a different life would work with blue hair. It's true. So I never really let it go. If I could, I would wake up every morning and look like a cartoon and have like green hair. How do you view the cautionary tales that we see in New York as a way to remember what not to do? You know, I never was like a drug addict, which probably helps. And anything yeah. I did, I got out of my system young. You know, people always think, oh, you grew up in New York, that must be so insane but in a way I mean luckily no one crashed cars because we all took taxis that's right even before uber now I'm sure the kids take uber yeah and so you never crashed a car so I got it all out of my system mm -hmm. really early right and was super jaded at a super young age I wasn't like a 35 year old like pothead or cokehead yes and we see so those people those people you yeah. know they like move to New York and they go crazy. So something that maybe has kept you in a place where you can be the man you are today while still keeping your, the rebelliousness you had at 13 mm -hmm. is maybe the fact that you grew up in this great city, Manhattan, and you got all the shit out of your system when you were really young. Surrounded by it. Also, I work in fashion, which is a rebellious industry. Yes. I go to fashion shows. I mean, is there anything more effed up than a 12 year old with like topless walking down a runway. I mean, that's rebellion. That's true. I don't work on Wall Street. I've never really had a job where you have to like dress a certain way or speak or yeah. a background check. Being an adult is really overrated. It's just like- Can we quote just that? Be... Can that be the title of this? Being an adult is overrated? It's kind of true. It's kind of genius, that's right? true. What does that even mean, adult? Or, it's not an age thing. I got everything out of my system and kind of started what I wanted to do at a very young age. Which right. I also think, it's like do everything as soon as you can. And again, you know, the boarding school I was kicked out of now asks me every year to speak to students. So in the long run, get kicked out of boarding school. They really don't if remember. If you go or whatever school, they don't remember. Yeah. In the end, it doesn't matter. So I think in conclusion, what I learned is you don't really need to view yourself as an adult to be no. a productive human being. And be kicked out of school. Get kicked out of school. And you'll be happy. <laughs> I know. I'm going to tell my parents that. Good. Thank you so much to Proper West. We filmed this entire episode in this great restaurant and bar in Midtown Manhattan. And I think Peter and I are probably going to go downstairs, maybe have a Diet Coke and a few pieces of lettuce and get really out of control. And I will see you guys next time on Noah's Ark, which is on NewYorkNatives.com. You and Lady Gaga are kind of like sisters. And that's not what we're focusing on because I really want the spotlight on you. And we love Gaga, but I want the spotlight yes. on you.